Bitcoin! These motherfuckers want to talk about money. Your money ain't got no value. You got it in the bank. Take it out, take it out. The bank is dangerous, gonna blow soon. Don't you hear me? The bank's gonna blow. Bitcoin in the house, I know you feel me. I'm getting internet money, my cash feel me. I don't sweat my bread, it's in my head. Bitcoin is now, the bank's dead. Hey, good morning. Good morning, America. This is Bitcoin talking to you from Beverly Hills, California. Yo, what's up? This is DJ Paper. I'm sitting here live with Bitcoin from Beverly Hills, California. We are uh, recording his first episode today of Bitcoin USA. Yeah, 90210. Bitcoin USA 90210. And, uh, you know, he has some things to say about Donald Trump. And we had the most beautiful piece of chocolate cake that you've ever seen. Well, yeah, Jeff, I have a lot to say, but, you know, um, I'm following uh, the Donald Trump adventures for the last few years. As we all have been yeah, following it. Yeah, did some songs about Donald. Yeah! Donald Trump! Boy, Donald, Donald Trump! I mean. That's right, you've and, done some uh, songs about Yeah, Donald. they call me Donald sometimes myself. Yeah, I'm 83, actually. And uh, this is a uh, second for me because when I was back in 1951, I did a program on the mutual broadcasting system out of Miami. Pied Piper's Playhouse. Pied Piper Playhouse. Yeah. yeah. On Saturdays nationwide unfortunately there's no more mutual broadcasting system but i like the name and maybe with all the bitcoins we making yeah yeah. uh we could buy another station yeah that's gonna happen yo we actually have another guest that just stepped into the to the building matt ford now how are you bud yeah i'm great it's great to be here with bitcoin and everybody in the studio hey all right oh before i forget jeff uh good morning i love you i love you man my art exhibition on saturday november 16 at 961 chung king road i think in uh in los angeles lisa derrick fine arts at 916 chung king road chinatown la November 16, Saturday, 7 to 10. So okay. all you guys out there, I uh, want to see some great uh, art. Uh, the title of the show is, uh, is uh, let's see, what is it? It's, I think it's uh, Pussy, something Pussy, right? Uh, Pussycat Blues. Pussycat Blues. Yeah. And Pussy you also Cat. have a song called Pussycat Blues. Yeah, I have a song called Pussycat Blues. You want to play a little segment of it? Yeah, let's play that right now. Be 
Okay, hey, I don't know. Can you hear my wife? She's mopping the floor in the next room. We also have some construction going on out here right now. Yeah. A lot of stuff going on. Well, yeah, but Beverly Hills is crazy. Yo, Bitcoin, I hear there's a rumor that you may be performing uh, some of your new songs at this art show. Yeah, well, you know, I'm, I'm, I'm thinking of it. I'm thinking seriously of it. Uh, problem is, you know, uh, short notice that I could get a band together that's going to... You think you could get me a band together, Matt, in the next few weeks so I could perform my latest three songs, which are uh, Way Up, uh, Ballin', and uh, you, you Can Take Your Hat Off. Uh, that's uh, a salute to, um, Joe uh, to Joe Cocker. You you could leave your hat on. Uh, I think it, and my, mine is You Could Take Your Hat Off. Fast cars, fast girls, living here in a fast world. Fake news, fake news, influencers on YouTube, chasing the feeling of when we were still in love. Wasting my time away, here's what I to say you can let your hair down you can take your hat off stay a little longer and see the light of day until the sun shines our way until the sun shines Some bad dreams I've said some bad things Good luck, good times Should we say goodbye Chasing the feeling of When we were still in love Wasting my time away Here's what I'd like to say you can let your hair down You can take your hat off Stay a little longer And see the light of day Until the sun shines our way Until the sun shines feeling of when we were still in love wasted my time away here's what I'd like to say you can let your hair down you can take your hat off stay a little longer and see the light 
Until the sun shines our way 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 So I'll be doing that one, my new song, Ballin' and, uh, and Way Up. I'm going to do those three songs. Um, you know, I'm 83 years old, so sometimes I'll need a teleprompter uh, or some other aid, you know. But I'm still walking up the stairs. You know, I walk up five flights of stairs to get up here to the studio. There's no elevator here. And you um, also have your own... Um, Today, Junior! Tennis court right here. Yeah, well, yeah, we have a tennis court. I can't play tennis any longer because uh, I hurt my back, you know. Yeah. But I'm still in training. I do some. That's um, right, you do boxing. Yeah, too. I box. I yeah. like to box. He's fast, I, too. He's fast. Yeah, I'm real fast. Uh, I used to box oranges many years ago. Nobody cares. So tell us about what you think about right now about Donald Trump taking over the country with his fascism and uh, how basically, you know, you told me there's not going to be a 2020 election. Is that true? You really think that's true? Yeah, that's what I told you. I told uh, lots of people that I know. Yeah, I think that... um, uh, that there will not ever be another election in the United States until uh, somebody else decides they're going to have one because everything that I see and hear from Trump over the past few years uh, would lead me to believe that, um, you know, I, I can only go by what someone says, you know. Um, sure, sure. And, 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 you know, like I believe, you know, he's going to, while he's, still in office he's going to put his face up on mount rushmore you know i, I think yeah. he's yeah i i mean I, he's that kind of guy you know he's so full of himself that you know uh so you think he's going to overthrow the liberal party and just become like the new hitler is basically what you're saying well look you know how could there ever be a new hitler i mean you know there's going to be a new trump and uh, it's going to be the old Trump. You know, I can only go by what what I you know what I. Uh, so who said that? There, that who told you that? Uh, he's nobody do all told this? me. Nobody told me oh, anything. You just said you could go. You only go by what you hear. So I was just what you know. I hear. Yeah, like this, Jeff. Uh, I I know he said I could. This is what Trump said before he was elected. I could stand in the middle of Fifth Avenue and shoot somebody. Where I could stand in the middle of Fifth Avenue and shoot somebody and I wouldn't lose any voters, okay? It's like incredible. That's pretty, yeah, it's pretty psychotic right there. Well, you know, it's, it's, it's dastardly. Yeah. How can, how can America, a country of law, of law and order since the Revolutionary War, right, come up with a guy, a president, who says things like this, and who now says, because he uh, is trying to get something on Joe Biden or his son, I mean, that's what I read, and that's what I heard him say. You said we're headed for a a second civil war. I think we're- I didn't say it. You said it, you told me. I said that he said, I'm only quoting what he said, who he quoted, a religious no, man. No, we were on the phone last night, and you told me, "Prepare, get ready. We're having we move out of the country. There's a second civil war coming." <laughs> yeah, I heard him say. I, we I all heard, heard him say that. Yeah. Uh, yeah. So what am I going? If a guy says something, if if you I know, think, you know, wait a second, Jeff. Hold on. Let me talk. Okay. I think you. You know. This is my show. Let me control what's going on, okay? Go ahead, Listen, Bitcoin. Go ahead. You know that you, you, you can you can have freedom of speech here in this country, but you can't yell fire in the middle of a theater with an audience, okay? I think that's against the law. Yeah. Is that right, Matt? Uh, assuming there is no actual fire. Yeah, that's what I'm talking about. I believe what Trump says, and that's why I said to you that I believe that there is not going to be an election in 2020 because he's building up a case against everybody who doesn't like him. So 
you ain't gonna be invited to any parties because if you don't like the guy, he ain't gonna invite you. He's gonna turn you down. And what's gonna happen is the fascism that we're seeing in the country with the new Republican Party, the Republican Party is turning into a fascist party. So there will be, and they, they won't name themselves, call themselves fascist, because they still think there's going to be election, an election. But I don't think there's ever going to be an election. I think it's over. 2020 is over. It's 1984 for me. Okay? It's 1984. They missed it by, what, 36 years? Something like that. Actually, I was born in 1936. Yeah, but you would like that because then you could say, like, you know, you're at the end of your life and you got to see, like, the shit hit the fan and then, like... Why, why, why do I... No, I don't like it. What, 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 you seem like you're a very, like, glass is half empty uh, sort of attitude with this thing. Well, how do you get that, Jeff? I mean, like, the end of the world type stuff, like, you know, 1984. This isn't the end of the world. I mean, 1984. Hitler, Hitler and fascism in, in, in Germany was defeated. You know, so back we're gonna in the 40s, Trump what? The, we're going to defeat, this happens. Yeah, and then you know, fascism you know, comes to who America. Who would ever think that fascism would show its ugly head in America? Okay? Yeah. Who would ever think? I'm 83 years old. I was born here. Okay? My parents were born here. Yeah. I, I, we've been here like, I don't know, my parents are no longer with us, unfortunately, but, you know, a long time, long enough to say, Hey, this doesn't look like it's going to happen, but you know, people are people, and there's some bad people around. Let's face it, there's good and evil, okay? And sometimes the evil gets a head start in the race. Eventually, I don't think it'll last. Hopefully, it won't. But the world is moving towards world domination by despots China Russia the Philippines I was I was in an Uber the other day and I was talking to the driver he says oh you know I'm from the Philippines I said oh yeah wow that's great yeah he says really great in the Philippines because we're killing all the drug dealers I said oh really yeah I of course I know that but I just wanted him to talk he says yeah man it's great I mean we kill him every day you know Duarte's great he's killing all these drug dealers I said but shouldn't they have a trial no 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 we know who they are well don't they ever make a mistake and kill innocent people no 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 we've got a lot of information there's another fascist dictatorship right. where they're going around killing people yeah just killing people saying they're drug dealers right and it could happen any place that's what's happening in the world the world is yeah. is it's turning to despots running the countries like for instance this guy uh, in in england johnson he's just an ass kisser for trump okay yeah. the same thing's going to happen in, in in england with this brexit okay yeah you know where they're going to leave the the uh, the european union not only that, but you hear bad stuff come out of out of Hungary and Poland, you know, and and even the United States, you know, like I, I, I drove uh, down past uh, and I do this almost every week. I see a, a synagogue, a Jewish place of worship or worship or a, or a or a, a school and they have armed guards standing outside. Yeah, it's scary. I mean, scary. What's, it, it is a scary. I mean, houses of worship are now being not protected. I guess they're protected by the police if something happens, hopefully. But with armed guards? What is this, company, uh, this country coming to? It's crazy. It's crazy. But the world, the, 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 the tendency now is for fascism because... There's a lot of problems in the world, a lot of problems in the world. Uh, a lot of homeliness, people without, without good drinking water, with filthy air. Uh, yeah, and it's just going to get worse, you know. We're, they said by 2050 that the world will be uninhabitable by humans. I don't know how true that is, but... Uh, well, there was an article in the Wall Street Journal, I don't know if you can believe it, it says that it was, it was studied by mathematicians that the human race will be gone in uh, 
I think 250 years, or maybe it was 750. I think it'll be way less than that. I, I, think it'll be with, I, I, I within, don't know. Within a hundred years, yeah, we'll have to like move to Mars or do so. I don't think we're gonna. I don't think we're gonna be completely killed because we're like cockroaches. It's very hard to kill us. Well, we'll you're like a cockroach, a but I'm not, man. <laughs> we'll find a way to. Yeah, I, did, did you? you we're, we're not like cockroaches. You are. I'm not a cockroach. I'm a human being with a brain. Human beings are like cockroaches. Really, bro? I don't look at human beings. I look at a... Very a, hard to kill. N- no, no. Easily killed. No, we in- can go into space. We have make space suits. We can go into any climate. We're very resilient. It's very hard to kill us. We go underground. We're smart. We're resourceful. I don't think we're going to be killed off. But we will. Our numbers will dwindle for sure. I think we'll go down, you know... Uh huh. To the thousands, probably. I would think. What do you think, Matt? Yeah, I. I mean, I actually I tend to uh, disagree with Bitcoin on on some of these issues. And we actually, the other day, we made a bet. So Bitcoin said, "Oh, there's not going to be any 2020 election." And I said, "Yeah, I think there's going to be an election. You know, every four years. I don't. I don't think." No, uh, there's going to Matt. I think. So we made an actual bet. Yes, we so did. So I just want to put it on the record. Uh, fifty bucks. We bet fifty. He wanted to bet fifty thousand, but you know I didn't want to take him out. Yeah, uh, I, I don't. I don't want him to hate me. You know, fifty bucks that we can he can afford. I can. I can certainly afford it. Can I? Can I get a piece of that? No, you know. Come oh, on, what, Jeff. What side do you want? <laughs> I definitely think there's going to be an election. Uh, I definitely think that. Um, you know. Okay, world, read we'll the article. Uh, read the article in Atlantic. Uh, Atlantic I, I pray Magazine. that you're wrong. I'm not Atlantic saying... Magazine. I, I don't want to quote. I the, sent it to you. Was, oh yeah, I know you sent it to me. January, February. I had never read it, but they mentioned the possibility. You know, the president of the United yeah. States has a lot of power. He can declare state of can, emergency. He can declare state of emergency for a, a lot of different things, and uh, it's very difficult. It, it's almost impossible, even in the Constitution, to. Uh, upset his uh his uh, edict that uh, there's a state of emergency i yeah. think that's what's going to happen i think that uh that uh there's going to be something that happens in this country because you know um that that uh, where where the election will be uh not allowed because of basically uh He's going to lose. He's going to lose big time. You think uh, Trump is afraid of losing the election? Oh, absolutely. A guy to, doesn't. Act, to a who? guy doesn't act like he does. You know, he has meetings with heads of state, and he goes off and talks about, you know, uh, what's happening with this uh, uh, this conversation he had with the president of Ukraine. I mean, you know, that's that's pretty wild. Uh, it's not diplomatic. Who who do you think on the Democrat side would win? The could be Trump if uh, if assuming there is an election next year. Well, if there was an election, I think he, he's actually doing damage to Biden. Well, you know, it's it's not a plus for Biden. What's he what he's doing? Because honestly, I, I don't know the story. I don't know you know what they what what. It hasn't really come out with what's happening with Biden. I, I don't, I don't believe, what I don't believe is that the president has the right to go to a foreign, uh, to a foreign government and ask them to give uh, information on his opponent in a political, in a political race. I, I think that that's the problem. Uh, and, and the problem is, you know, it's not a positive for Biden, I don't think. I personally, uh, I personally think there's a few people who could beat Trump, who should beat Trump, because they're intelligent and they're normal thinkers. Who? Who? Na- name some. Who do you think? I well, I, I personally like uh, I like Elizabeth Warren. I like her a lot. She's very smart. She's very smart, and uh, and I think she has the right ideas. I mean, you know. This billionaire thing that's going on is crazy. You know, with 99% of the people in this country, the United States of America, living from hand to mouth. You know that? Week to week. They don't get their paycheck in a week or two. They're shot down. That's what's happening in this country. 
Yeah, I live hand to mouth. <laughs> Let's get serious. <laughs> Are you living hand to mouth? Uh, I have a small cushion. I have a small cushion. Okay. A couple thousand dollars in the bank, maybe. Something like that. You do have a couple grand. A couple thousand dollars, maybe. Okay. Well, that's good, man. Yeah, you know, just for a rainy well, I, day. Uh, you know, I've saved up over my 83 years. Yeah. But uh, How much do you have in the bank, Bitcoin? What? <laughs> How much do you have in the bank, Bitcoin? None of your business. <laughs> I got a few, you know, I'll probably... Got a few thousand in the bank. Well, my money will outlive me, let's say that. Okay. But I'm not interested in the money aspect of my life. I'm interested in in creating things, you know, like music right, right. and art and uh, talking about what I deeply feel in my heart. That's why I wanted to go through, you know, like you are Bitcoin, but you are more, you're an interesting man behind the, you know, who is the man behind Bitcoin is really what everybody, I think the listeners want to know. And I think like, you know, you might be shrouding yourself in some sort of shadows of, you know, not letting people know maybe your real name or who you really are, but and who it's is not, the guy it, it's, Listen, Bitcoin? I'm, I'm a, I'm a, I'm an artist, okay? who goes by the name Bitcoin. That's my name. Bitcoin is my name. Um, and uh, that's who I want to be known as, Bitcoin. That's going to be on my on my tombstone. It's going to say Bitcoin. Do you, do you have glaucoma? Do I have glaucoma? glaucoma? Well, Bitcoin, the test results came back, and unfortunately, it doesn't look too good. Oh, shit. Uh, it appears you've been diagnosed with glaucoma. Oh my god. Am I going to go blind? It's a 90% chance. I smoke for my glaucoma like every single day. They, they, they say a pack bowl or two keeps the doctor away. I got diagnosed with glaucoma, much to my despair. But I got that shit covered, thanks to Obamacare. I want to thank you, Obama, 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 Rama. Thank, thank you, Obama, for my Obamacare. You got a medical condition? Well, do not fear. Smoke, smoke some stanky danky and your shit is in the clear. Coma, I'm medical proof. Cures cancer, pain, the mentally insane, and that's the fucking truth. Smoke, smoke for stomach ulcers, asthma, hyperventilation, urticaria, ADD, and even constipation. This, this weed cures so much stuff. If you're a health patient, we need to legalize it all across the nation. We need to legalize it, legal fucking lies it. We need to legalize it all across the nation. My glaucoma, black, 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 coma. I smoke for my glaucoma, black, 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 coma. He smoke, 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 black, coma, black, coma, black, coma. He smoke, 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 black, 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 coma, black, coma. He smoke. My vision, it's a 90% chance. Then I won't be able to watch television. That's part of it, yes. Oh my god, I gotta go home and tell my wife. Well, I, I would notify the immediate family immediately. Well, Doc, this news is really bad. Is there anything I could do to cure it? Well, there is one thing. What's that? Reefer. Reefer. You don't really have glaucoma. I'm looking at you now. Your eyes are perfectly clear. Well, yeah. But you do smoke a lot of marijuana. 
What's a lot? Like, uh... I started with medical marijuana. Let me tell you a story. Okay, let's go. I started with medical marijuana a few years ago uh, because I have a lot of problems with uh, stenosis. You know, my back, oh, back, yeah, back. Sp- yeah, spinal stenosis, a lot of pain. So the doctor wrote me a prescription. So I went down to the marijuana store and I bought $16 worth of marijuana. And they gave me a grab bag of some candy. So um, as I'm coming home, driving home from the marijuana dispensary, I ate a candy bar. And all of a sudden I noticed everything was moving. All the buildings were moving. And uh, I, I, I just couldn't, I, I, luckily I was right by my house and I, I just parked right away. And I went upstairs and everything was black. Everything was black. I felt like I was inside of a, of a, of a game, some kind of game. And everything was moving. And then my hands, I looked at my hands and they were black. And I stopped. What? Jesus. Yeah, Jesus. And uh, uh, the, uh, what do you call them? The, the, me- the uh, EMTs. The emergency medical. Co- my wife called the emergency medical because they had to take me to the hospital. I was vomiting and my mind was, I mean, I thought. It- you OD'd on marijuana. Yes, sir. I OD'd on marijuana and edible marijuana and I spent the night in the hospital the doctor said to me asked me next day he said what what how did you feel I said I feel felt like I was going to die drugs are bad you shouldn't do drugs okay so that was my uh, experience with medical marijuana yes I smoke marijuana occasionally I'm not uh, you know I don't I don't like to smoke when I'm recording music I don't record, uh, you know, I like to have a very, you know, with it mind. Clear mind. Yeah, clear mind. I, I like it. And I don't, I, you know, as I'm getting older, I'm 83 now, I'm, I'm um, not smoking too much. You know, maybe I take a puff or two okay. every other week, you know, and I, you know, just to get the smell, the taste, but, uh, you know. I don't even buy it anymore, you know, like people have smoked it and they come by and say, oh, here, take a puff. Oh, maybe yes, maybe no. Um, it's certainly, um, it's, it, I, I can't do much. I'm not an expert on marijuana. Let's put it that way. So are you, but you're still, even though you're not high you, right now, you're still way up. Am I correct? Living so fast, but I can't slow down. Looking at the past with my windows down. Living for today, cause I can't look back. Faded every day, and my bend's all black. Way up, 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 way up. Living so fast, but I can't slow down. Looking at the past with my windows down. Living for today, cause I can't look back. Faded every day, and my bend all black. Way up, 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 way up. Get off my back, and don't come back. It don't mean jack, just a cheap thrill. Just let me through. I'm a fool for you. Just let me through. I'm in love with you. Living so fast, but I can't slow down. Looking at the past with my windows down. Living for today, cause I can't look back. Faded every day, and my bend's all black. Way up, way up, way up, way up, way up. Way up, way up, living so fast, but I can't slow down, looking at the past with my windows down, living for today, cause I can't look back, faded every day, in my bend all black. Way up, 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 I see through you. Your eyes deep blue, my bends all black. 
Baby, don't call back. Just let me through. I'm a fool for you. Just let me through. I'll get over you. Living so fast, but I can't slow down. Looking at the past with my windows down. Living for today, cause I can't look back. Faded every day in my bend all black. Way up, way up, way up. So that was a song called Way Up, and uh, while we were playing, Bitcoin was just talking to me about how he is going to be bigger than Banksy. Tell us about that. Well, you know, uh, I deserve it because I've been uh, I've been in the art field for over uh, five hundred years. No, not five hundred. About seventy three quarters of a century, seventy five years. You know, I studied art. I studied art at uh, Philadelphia Museum of Art when I was 10, 11 years old. Uh, my mother would drive me to the Philadelphia Museum of Art. That's where Rocky comes down the steps on Saturdays. I studied at the uh, Art Students League in, uh, in New York for a few years, part-time. And I've been painting for 70 years, and I've been doing music for the past five years. And uh, so, you know, I did different kind of art than Banksy, you know. I did do different shit. And uh, I like my shit better than Banksy, you know. Uh, what can I tell you? So, Bitcoin, are you going to start uh, painting on the sides of buildings in the middle of the night? No, I, I don't have to do that. I, you know, um, I, I live a private life and I got a wall and a door with a lock on it. And uh, I don't have a lot of people watching me paint. I'm not interested in that. I just turn out what I do. And, um, and then when I like it, I stop it, you know, and then I go on to something else. Sometimes I don't figure it out, but, you know, that's the part of life. You know, you can't figure everything out. Some of my songs I do, I write these songs and I, and I say, oh, well, you know, that's what I was thinking. And then... Maybe a few months later, a few weeks later, I said, why did I say that? Because now my, my mind's someplace else. I'm thinking of something else. But, um, you know, uh, getting back to Trump, you know, he reminds me of, uh, of Louis XIV, you know, the French king. That I guess they called him the Sun King. He lived in a big palace. Everything was gold. And, uh, you know, he was, he was hands-on. He knew everything, they say, you know. He was a control freak. And uh, that's what I read about this government, the U.S. government today. Everything is closing down or because uh, Trump wants to centralize everything like in a dictatorship, you know, where he's got his hands and, and his hands and his mind and his mouth into everything. So uh, uh, not a good situation, not a good situation. I think... You know, they say two heads are better than one, and 20,000 heads are better than two, and 200,000 heads are better than three, and three million heads are better than four, you know, and so forth. And so, you know, the, 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 the people know what they need, and the people don't need a dictatorship. And we do need a new election in 2020, and I do hope that we have one, but I'm afraid from what I'm hearing uh, that everyone should be in jail, uh, that everyone's a liar and, um, and the treasonous and they should be uh, put in jail. I mean, you know, who says things like that? Yeah, it's okay if a court, you know, if you're arrested for something and you go to court and, and, uh, and you have witnesses and things like that, but just to, for the President of the United States, the leader of the so-called free world, 
telling people in his in his in his country, this fellow, hey, this guy should, she should be in jail. She should be, and and his rallies, the same thing. Put them in jail. Put him in jail. That's fascism, man. That's fascism. You never hear it from the Democrats. You don't hear it from socialists. I guess maybe you hear it from, I don't even know. It's a Russian, Chinese, American thing now. It's horrible. Yeah, I don't know. I think, I think it's still, I think it's a little extreme. You, you're, uh, I don't know, you say, you hear, you hear this, you hear that. I'm a little concerned of what and who you're listening to. What do you mean? Where? I hear it on I hear it on uh, on the sound bites that come through from people like Trump or Rudy Giuliani or some of these other folks. Where else do I hear it? Well, what 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 news channels do you like to watch? Well, well what news channels? I, I, I watch. Uh, sometimes I tune into Fox. Sometimes I tune into. Uh, I read the Washington Post. Uh, I don't read in, I don't go to MSNBC as much as I did because, you know, to tell you the truth, they, they, uh, they're they a little short on the truth sometimes. They, they show the, you know, one-sided. I don't even like that, even if we're talking about the president. Uh, you know, he deserves the truth also. But I do find uh, MSNBC a little uh, uh, light on the truth. They tell partial truths. I don't like that. And uh, but the the real truth I get is from the from the mouth of the president of the United States and now Rudy Giuliani and some of his other spokespeople. That's where I get the real truth. I, I hear what they have to say. What they have to say is wacko. So you did a, a song and video about Donald Trump even way before he even ran for president. Is that right? I think it was about the time he was announced, and it's called Trumpin. Yeah, Trumpin. Can we drop that? Yeah. I want to give a shout out to my main man, the Donald Donald Trump. But Donald, you still don't got more money than me. I be making this money is like Bitcoin. Donald Trump. Donald Donald Trump. Trump. Yeah. Donald Trump. What? Donald Donald Trump. I be Trumpin. Slam dunkin', uh, pumpin', I be Donald Trumpin'. I trump these motherfuckers on every fucking level. Sexy angel on my shoulder, but I listen to my devil. I trump them in the club, I trump them with my clout. Wow. We gonna see who's trumpin' when I buy your bitch ass out. Wow. I trump from side to side, I trump them in my ride. If they say I wasn't trumpin', then you know they fucking lied. I trump so fucking hard, I hurt their fucking pride. I can show you how to trump, move your fists like they glide. Move your fists from side to side, that's right, side to side. Then you you shake your shoulders like this That's right You can trump them in the mall Or trump them in the shower I trump in all the honeys Cause they know who's got the power I trump so fucking high Call me Trump Tower Trumpet can't be bought And trumpet can't be taught All around the world They call me Mr. Trump a lot All around the world They call me Mr. Trump a lot money like Donald Trump Donald Donald Trump Trump Donald Trump yeah, Donald Donald, Donald Trump like. What? Donald Trump, uh, Donald Donald Trump, Trump, Donald Trump, Donald Donald Trump. I be bumping, yeah, fist pumping, <laughs> pumping, what? Slam dunking, funkin', uh, big game hunting, stunting. Uh, I be Donald Trump. I trumpin' in the Gucci stall, bitches know my name. Yeah. I trump to the jewelry stall, fifty on my chain. Trumpin' is a frame of mind, trumpin' on the brain I roll up like a pip with my Tom Ford cane Boss. When I roll up to the bank, they treat me like a king Boss. Honeys, don't be nervous, got lots of beat to slang Boss. But if you wanna crush, then kiss my pinky ring <laughs> My trumpet feels so good, I make these bitches sing uh. I tell them that they hired, I tell them that they fired You're You fired. can't tell me shit, cause your trump card's expired Trumpin' with my cash, I'll teach you how to spend this Boss. I'll be Donald Trump you be my apprentice I'll teach you something new Don't ever forget this Anyone can do it No need to practice Move your fist like they died Move your fist from side to side And then you shake your shoulders And do I it with some pride like Donald Trump Donald Donald Trump Trump yeah. Donald Trump what? Donald Donald Trump like. 
Donald Trump, what? Donald Donald Trump, uh. Trump, Donald Trump, what? Donald Donald Trump, Trump. Trump. I be bumping, what? Fist pumping, pumping, what? Slam dunking, funkin', uh. big booty humping, stunting. Uh. I be Donald Trumpin'. It's like you know when you think about you know when you think about your life you know like uh, I was thinking about uh, you know. Uh, well, you, you're probably not going to like this. I, I was thinking about Alzheimer's, you know, because I read about it. I'm 83 years old. I've had members of my family who had Alzheimer's. So I said, oh, why don't I do a song about alts? You want to play the alts song? I live life right, man. Weed, girls, money. I've done it all. I can't remember doing it, but I'm pretty sure it happened. Alzheimer's, man. It's the only way I roll. All right, let's do this before I forget the lyrics. I'm a real old G, y'all just pretenders. The real motherfuckers got bad dementia. I'm pretty damn sick, but it's not a curse cause my friends roll in hearses. I roll with hot nurses. G's wanna be me, but never been me. Alzheimer gives me a terrible memory. G's wanna be me, but never been me. Alzheimer's shit, I said the same line twice. Friday night I blacked out, can't remember nothing. Saturday night I didn't black out, can't remember nothing. I get props from bros and pussy from dancers. Cause I got Alzheimer's and probably cancer. It's a bad way to die, but not the worst way. I've got an excuse to forget my hoe's birthdays. Check out my cash, you can tell that I made it. Bitch, where my money? Oh, I thought I paid it. I roll the weed, I spread by seed and I get mad respect but most of the things I've done are gone cause the alts makes me forget so if you're trying to front then think again unless you got some balls but if you walk away you'll be okay cause I probably won't recall I if you love bad bitches let me hear ya hey. if you like getting high make noise hey. uh, something else let me hear ya yeah. And a fourth thing, get loud. I smoke blunts and get laid all the time. Do it real early, then I'm asleep by nine. Roadhead in my bends, girls on their knees. That was the plan, but I can't find the keys. I banged 87 girls. Here's the list of them. Tina? Shit, I forgot 86 of them. I got a Lamborghini, I'm never gonna sell it. DJ, say my name. Now remind me how to spell it. You're a hot bitch. Oh, say it again. Say what? The thing you just said. I probably said something you liked, but my memory's not what it used to be. I got Alzheimer's. Oh, that's unfortunate. Yeah, it sucks. Well, talk dirty to me. Dirty? What are you talking about dirty? I showered this morning, I think. Talk dirty. Talk. I said talk. Oh, I'm so sorry. You're gonna have to speak up. Okay, fuck this. Fucking old people. Okay, I think I can remember the chorus, though. I roll the weed, I spread my seed, and I get mad respect. But most of the things I've done are gone, cause the alts makes me forget. So if you're trying to front, then think again, unless you got some balls. But if you walk away, you'll be okay, cause I probably won't recall. I got alts. If forgetting shit is gangster, then call me Rick Ross. That's his name, right? Anyways, the weed doesn't help neither. You want to get faded with me, just let me know. And um, I'm going to have to leave now, but uh, I was sure I came in by that door over there. Hey, man, where's the door to get out of here? Oh, it's right, right over there, sir. Right over where? The exit sign? Exit sign? It's right that, it's that door right there. That red sign? Yeah, just go right that way. Okay. I think it went down the wrong door. Where am I? Hey, what the fuck's wrong with you? That's not the right door. S sir, you're gonna want to go to the one the exit. You went to you went to the door to the side there. That's I went to the right door. So where you pointed me to, you fuck? I I pointed you to the exit. Man, you're fucking with the wrong guy. I'm sorry. You see this bulge on my hip? I you know what that is? That's a gun. That's a Glock. You're fucking with the wrong guy. Yeah. Don't ever send me to the wrong door. Okay. Okay. You're going to want to go to that door with the exit. Going to go to one of the, the, the exit door. Oh, fuck you, man. I'm sorry, but that is the door, okay? 
I, I have to leave. I have to lock this place up. So just see the one at the exit? That's where we're going to leave, okay? And then your car's waiting out there for you, okay? Yeah, I got some hose in my car. That's fine. Okay, More so. than I could say for you, buddy. Um, all right. I will, we'll see you tomorrow morning, okay? Do you need a wake-up call? No, man. I don't sleep. I don't sleep. I don't sleep. It's, a, it's a depressing topic, but I like to have fun with it. So I, I, I write songs... I write lyrics that I have fun with. You know, I'm a serious guy, but that's how I get, you know, I get some joy out of my life is by creating funny things or things that I want to do, but I don't do. You know, it's my alter ego speaking. Hell yeah. It's like, you know, I I talk about hoes and everything and I, you know, I live a quiet, I live a quiet life, you know. Uh, I'm in bed at eight o'clock. That's the truth. I'm I'm reading, or 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 is that Come depressing? On. Nobody believes Bitcoin goes okay, to bed at eight o'clock. The- you mean eight eight a.m. You mean after partying <laughs> no, all but night? I, you no, know, I go to bed at eight eight eight, 8 p.m. or nine p.m. But I get up at eleven or twelve, and I stay up till four or five, and I go back to sleep at five until seven, and then I get up again. <laughs> I'm up and down, you know? I'm up and down. So, <laughs> and I think about all the people I met and some of the fun I've had in my life and sometimes even sadness. But uh, it's a, you know, oh, well, you know, I, I have uh, sleep apnea, so I sleep with this mask. You know, it's very uncomfortable. Oh, uh, the CPAP machine? Oh, my God. Well, not I don't sleep with the, sh- the machine on my head, thank God. I sleep with the mask on my face. But, you know, I wake up, look like it. I've been in a prize fight. You know, when I got a big scar on my the bridge of my nose. And, uh, you know, it's very uncomfortable. And, you know, I'm reading, I'm, I'm writing, I'm doing all kinds of shit in the middle of the night. I send messages to people, emails to people at 2, 3, 4 in the morning. That's when, I, that's when I'm doing everything. I'm doing most of my work. Most of my brain is functioning after 1 a.m. until 5. So I think a lot of people want to know, uh, Bitcoin, are you balling? I'm still balling. I seen it all, yeah. Wanted me to fall, yeah. She's still calling. Rise and fall. Still I ball, yeah. The only ones left, yeah, is all my dogs. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Ups and downs. The only ones around, around, are the real ones. Real ones. They were there before all the millions. I'm still balling. I seen it all, yeah. Wanted me to fall, yeah. She's still calling. I'm still balling. I'm still balling. I'm still balling. I'm still balling. I took a loss. Now I'm the boss. Look at my wrist. My Rolex drip. Dreamed of this. This team I'm with are the real ones. They were there before all the millions. I'm still balling. I seen it all, yeah. Wanted me to fall, yeah. She's still calling. I'm still balling. I'm still balling. I'm still balling. I'm still bowling. I'm still bowling. I'd love to go to the moon because, uh, you know, I think that, you know, this whole thing and the United States led to, you know, the, the landing on the moon. Yeah. And I think that that's really where we're going to end up. 
Yeah, they just planted there's some bases on the moon up there already. And some, are our bases some, up there? Stuff going on up there. Yeah, already. well, I'm gonna be like homeless on the moon. In fact, I want to do a song called Homeless on the Moon. That's your new song? Yes, sir. Homeless, homeless on, on the Moon, moon man. I love it. I, love, I it. love it. It's better to be at Homeless in Los Angeles Maybe or San Francisco. That's true. That's yeah, true. I mean, you know. Because at it, least it, there's, it, it, no, there's no air up there, though. So you die faster. Is there no air on there's the moon? There's no air on the moon. There's no atmosphere. No atmosphere? Okay, a little. It's a, like a little bit of mini, mini and atmosphere. You just brings tears to my eyes. Yeah, it's sad. Yeah. It's really sad. I feel for the moon. That's a, you know. What's that? I feel f- bad for the moon. Well, you know, you may not need uh, air soon, you know. You, yeah. You, you know, there's always something that... There's genetically engineered people coming out that they don't have to breathe. What the fuck are you talking about? Yeah, well, I, the only, I, I, only closest thing I came to an alien was when I picked up a... Uh, a uh, an illegal alien? No, no. I not was it uh, when I was in Ireland driving in the rain, and there was a little guy with a with a standing in the rain. He was about three feet tall, like a small person, very small. He was about three feet tall. I picked him up, and I drove with him for a while. You know, I I actually drove him to a, around where he was going because I was just uh, and uh, he was hitchhiking. I don't know what he was doing. He's just standing in the rain. He was a little tiny man. And I, I figured that he he needed help, actually. You know, I was in a car. It was so, in Ireland. So where did you drop him off? I dropped him off in some place. He said, uh, can you go about this, around this, around this town, about three, four miles over there? He kept directing me. What'd you talk about? I just talked about him, you know, about what was going on in Ireland, you know, what he... Well, if he liked horses, and we were talking about horses, and he loved horses, and he loved to go in the races. He was a, just a tiny man. So I I thought of him as a leprechaun. Is that what you call those people? Did you? Did he bring you good luck? Um, you know, I've had tremendous good luck in my life. Are you kidding? So maybe he was a leprechaun. Uh, you know, maybe, you know, I, I've had luck. I've had luck meeting people like you and... And this man and, and and Jeff, I meet some really interesting, good people, you know, so I'm very lucky. I don't know if it was that little guy in Ireland. I didn't have I didn't have uh, any accident, you know, when I was driving with him. I just had a good feeling, you know, it was a good feeling. And uh, his, his feet couldn't even touch the floor, of the, you know, of the car, the front seat of the car. He was very. What small. was his name? Do you remember his name? Uh, no, he didn't get. We didn't talk about names. There was nothing about names. You oh. know, it was just about what's going on around here. You know, telling me about life around. But was he an alien? Was he an alien? Or I just a I, midget? I, I didn't even think of the alien. Sorry, thing. a little person. Yeah, just a little person. You know, a little person. So you've never seen any aliens? Well, I, I wouldn't know if I saw one. You know, I probably met. People who, you know, were have, aliens. Pardon? Were aliens. Like men in black. Well, I, 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 I you know, listen, you're asking me a question. It's so far out. You know, uh, it's, I'm not going to say I met. I, I do believe, though, there are people on the earth who either are related, came from another planet. I think that that is true. This was a great episode. I had fun with you guys. Let's eat. We have Beyond Burgers, right? Didn't you buy some? Yeah, I could cook you up let's some Beyond cook, Burgers. Let's cook some up and let's listen to one of my favorite Bitcoin songs of all time, Trap Phone. What do you say? Well, uh, I think, Jeff, you, 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 you hit it right on the head. All right, guys, we'll check it out. You can see us, uh, listen to us next week. We'll be here with Bitcoin talking about all sorts of crazy stuff. Maybe Matt will will join in, too. I had fun with you, Matt. Yeah, thanks. It was great being here. Thank you, Matt. Thank Thank you, you, Jeff. Anything you want to tell to your fans and your listeners before you leave, just before, you know, we close out the show, this is Bump This Trap. Yeah, listen, uh, everybody out there, uh, um, you know, it's a great pleasure to speak with you, man, because uh, men and women, because, uh, you know, I haven't done this since uh, 1951 when I did uh, 
that uh, Pied Piper Playhouse Pied Piper on the Playhouse. Mutual Broadcasting System. So being in front of the mic again makes me feel real good. Thanks for, Thanks for listening. She used to call you on your... She used to. She used to. Yeah. 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 Talk to me, baby. I know why she don't call you on your cell phone. Cause she don't really need your shit. She won't call you on your cell phone. Yeah. Now your bitch is chilling with me. Now she like that Bitcoin dick. She said that you come too quick oh, no. Our sex is like a porno flick <laughs> Even with my replaced hip She used to call you on your cell phone yeah. But now she's with a real OG She used to call you on your cell phone Now she'd like that old money You know I'm down with OPP other people's property <laughs> You made millions I can see uh, But you ain't rich compared to me yeah. so, so, so every time your hotline bling Come here, daddy. You should only think one thing So, so, so every time your hotline bling Give me more. You should only think one thing, 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 thing. Yo, I'm taking her to Rome Chillin', watching Google Chrome. Fly first class, you give me dome. Her mouth is full, can't come to the floor. I ain't gonna call you on your cell phone. Because you couldn't handle it. I stopped calling your cell phone. Because I got that Bitcoin tech. Hey, yo, Bitcoin, why don't you play them the real Don't be blowing up my telephone. Cause I don't have a cell phone I still got a landline I be sitting on a landmine I be fucking all the hoes Bitcoin about to blow up Baby put up or shut up If it ain't about that ass I'ma have to pass But don't be blowing up my trap phone Especially when I'm not alone Blowing up my trap phone When you know I'm not alone Every time that trap phone rings That could only mean one thing Every time that trap phone rings That could only mean one thing But don't be blowing up my trap phone Especially when I'm not alone Blowing up my trap phone you back but I never call them back once I get them in the sand I, 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 I be popping Viagra like Tic Tacs never spend a dime on a dime with no kickback you got my hotline blinging off the hook blinging off the hook blinging off the hook is this Jessica or Tammy on the line looks like this is a conversation I have all the time you say what ho? Don't you know I'm trying to get my weight up? Don't be blowing up my trap phone. Especially when I'm not alone. Blowing up my trap phone. When you know I'm not alone. Every time that trap phone rings, that could only mean one thing. Every time that trap phone rings, that could only mean one thing. Especially when I'm not alone Blowing up my trap phone When you know I'm not alone Every time that trap phone rings That could only mean one thing Every time that trap phone rings That could only mean one thing Every time that trap phone rings